Hey, it's Terry, and I'm here today with T for Terry. That's T for thoughts, E for emotions, and A for actions. So here's a small tip regarding an action. So as a nutritionist, one of the things I learned in nutrition school is how important hydration is. We need hydration to help our brain to function, for the integrity of our cells, to aid digestion. There's just so many reasons that we need to stay hydrated. But many of us have questions about how much am I supposed to be drinking? What am I supposed to be drinking? And how do I create a habit that supports this action? So I wanna start and answer those questions for you today. I'm gonna to start with what should we be drinking? So the most important thing to think about is pure filtered water. One of the reasons that water is key is because that's what our body internally uses to hydrate ourselves. We can sometimes drink other things that will also aid hydration, but there's also a lot of things that either spike our blood sugar or dehydrate us. Coffee is dehydrating. Many types of tea are dehydrating. Juices spike our blood sugar. So when it comes to the optimal beverage, it's pure filtered water. Now, some of you are thinking, what about sparkling water? What about mineral water? And I will say yes and no. It depends on you. Uh, I always like to have people start with filtered water. If you have a good source of mineral water, uh, you can always try that. See how your body likes it. One of the things that I find, many of my clients find, and many other nutritionists talk about is the idea of having uh, mineral water, or not mineral water, but water with bubbles, hydro, yeah, uh, what do I want to say? Sparkling water is going to create sometimes some digestive distress, too many bubbles. So pay attention to what works for you and really, especially in the beginning, prioritize pure filtered water. So how much should we be drinking? This is often up for debate, but what I learned in my school of nutrition and what I've been teaching for the last seven years is half your body weight in ounces of water a day. So if you are 150 pounds, this looks like 75 ounces of water a day, pure filtered water. So how do we, do we drink it all at once? What if we forget? I have a tip for you and it's super simple. So I want you to take your water bottle and I want you to measure how much it holds. So this is a 16 ounce water bottle. Now I want you to figure out how much you need to be drinking. Do you need to fill it two times, three times, four times, five times? And then I want you to just simply put rubber bands. And as you fill up your water bottle the first time, you're just going to take that water bottle, that rubber band off. Now you have to fill it up three more times. When it's empty, you're going to fill it up again. And you're going to take that other rubber band off. And this is such a simple way to track. And it's you don't have to buy a fancy water bottle that measures it. You can, but this is just an easy hack that's going to help you track how much water you're drinking, know where you left off, and get the right amount. And you'll notice because we're filling it up throughout the day, we're not drinking all of it in the morning or all of it at night. So that's important too. Your body needs a constant or steady source of hydration, not just all at once. And then how do we remember to fill it up? Uh, and even if we have the rubber bands on it, what if we leave it at home and it's, or we forget to fill it? So there is a really simple uh, strategy called pairing or habit stacking. And I wanna invite you to try this. So take a habit you already have and then add filling up your water bottle to that. So most of us drink coffee or tea in the morning. So while your coffee is brewing, you can fill up your water bottle and then you're ready to go. So try that simple habit stacking or pairing and see if that helps you stay on track. One last tip for today. Uh, water 
is water and it has some trace minerals in it, but not as many as it used to. Our water supply has changed, our soil has changed, and we're often depleted in these micronutrients. So I wanna invite you to get some extra minerals in your water. And how are you gonna do that? You're gonna add some Himalayan salt. You are simply going to grind up some salt, place a couple of pinches in your water every time you fill it up. Not enough that it tastes salty, but you know a pinch where maybe you taste a little salt, but it's not overwhelming. And why we do this is um, Himalayan salt has over 90 trace minerals that are really important to your body. So let's review the T, or I, sorry, TEA, thought, emotion, action. Let's review the action for today. We're going to work on hydration. We're going to get a bottle. We're going to add the rubber bands. We're gonna place it next to our coffee pot. We're also gonna add some Himalayan salt. All right, that's your action for this week.